Hello everybody, it is your boy Ancioso7 here, and I forgot the H in hello, but that doesn't really matter. And today, I'm going to be doing my first impressions video on Fire Emblem Three Houses. So I got this game, eh, like a week ago, <laughs> and I wouldn't normally make like a video for this, because like, the game's like two years old by this point. Actually, it turned two years old yesterday, believe it or not, but... You might be wondering, why am I making a first impressions video on this game when it's already so old? Well, because of the fact that, okay, to explain myself, I have not played a Fire Emblem game ever before. I decided to give Three Houses a shot finally, because I was like, eh, I mean, I guess I may as well try it out. And I did not realize how good the game really is. I, I'll be honest, I've had a lot of, not really hate of the series, but just kind of irritation of the series. Obviously, because of it having so much representation in Smash Bros and taking up the fifth challenger pack spot, which was kind of annoying. But even so, though, it, it's still such a good game. So I'm not really going to do like a full review. It's more of just the first impressions. And if just so you know, I'm at chapter seven right now. So, yeah, I haven't really played anything past that. And I'm doing the black eagles route. I think it's that whatever one is with the red. Edelgard, whatever. I'm going that route, specifically. And, oh my god, the game is so good. Like, I didn't really expect myself to enjoy it as much as I thought, as I actually do. But, man, it is just such a good game. This game looks really nice to start off. Like, it just looks so good. It kind of reminds me a bit of Persona. Actually, this game reminds me a lot about Persona, since it has the split gameplay of exploring the monastery and increasing bonds with your fellow classmates, as well as the battles. And I'll get into that a little bit later, but seriously, going back to the presentation, this game looks so good. It looks really, really good. There's a lot of detail to the models. They all have so many expressions. It's so good. It's it's really good. It's it's a one th it's the, the best way to put it is that there are times where I'll just run around the monastery, not even really doing anything, just running around, just taking in the scenery. That's when you know your game is beautiful. And also, like, the story, it's okay so far. Like, there isn't really a lot of a big story or anything like that. It's not really that. Probably will get better later, more than likely. But what really makes this game amazing is the characters. Now, there's a lot of characters in the game. And like, there is, like, three routes. I don't know if I'm going to play all three, like, right now. Uh, maybe. I doubt it, though. I'm just going to try and get as much information on the other characters as possible. But I will say right now, I do plan to do a character tier list for all of the Three Houses characters at some point in time. I don't know when, but there's a lot of good ones. Hash, also, uh, Dorothy is Bay. But anyways, <laughs> moving on to the gameplay. So the gameplay, again, like I said before, is split between the monastery gameplay and the actual battle gameplay. I'll start with the monastery since I kind of mentioned it before. You basically do things with your fellow comrades to increase bonds with one another so you can reach support, see some more support conversations. This is basically kind of like this game's version of like a social link, I guess you could say, where you'll basically get these cutscenes where a character or characters will interact with one another and you'll kind of see how they re like inter... inter act with one another it's really really cool because there's a lot of them like a lot of them so you're never really gonna run out of content to watch it's so good and a lot of them are just so much fun to watch too they tell good stories and they really show how people are different from one another again the characters are absolutely great so there's also that and there's other stuff you can do like you can do like some other things that can maybe increase like levels specifically like the training and lecturing that you can do where you can instruct classmates to get better at certain skills and whatnot and then there's the battle gameplay which is basically the rpg aspect of the game where you basically move people on the grid to fight others it's kind of intimidating but i honestly do kind of like it at the same time it's a weird love-hate relationship I don't think it's perfect, honestly. I do think there could be a lot more there, but I would say it's definitely good, even if a little bit scary for somebody who's not very tactical. But yeah. Also, the music in the game is really good. But 
anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I didn't really want to talk about too much because these are more than likely the same things I'm going to be thinking once I actually do review the game. And I don't know when I'm going to review the game. It depends on when I finish it. I don't know. But I will say, so far, it has been much better than I thought it would be. And honestly, could be cementing its way into becoming one of my favorite Switch games in recent memory. But those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more Fire Emblem content on this channel, uh, don't expect it. <laughs> this is a once-in-a-lifetime situation where I will give it a chance. I probably won't do much more other than the review and, of course, the character tier list. But otherwise, probably not. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.